Assalamu alaikum my dear brothers and sisters, in today's part of Ramadan self-improvement challenge we are going to talk about self-discipline. Stay tuned and don't forget to support the growth of my channel. Self-discipline is a fundamental concept that encompasses the ability to control one's desires, impulses and actions in accordance with the teachings and principles of Islam. It is a crucial aspect of spiritual growth and personal development. With self-discipline, we restrain ourselves from engaging in prohibited actions and behaviors while actively pursuing deeds that are pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. By exercising self-discipline, we strive to purify our souls, strengthen our faith and uphold moral integrity in all aspects of our lives. Self-discipline enables us to overcome temptations, restrict societal pressures and maintain a sense of balance and moderation in our actions. The Holy Quran says in Surah Al-Rad, For each one are successive angels before and behind him who protect him by the decree of Allah. Indeed, Allah will not change the condition of a people until they change what is in themselves. And when Allah intends for a people ill, there is no repelling it, and there is not for them besides him any patron. Allah highlights the principles of self-discipline by emphasizing that he does not change the condition of a people until they change what is within themselves. This verse underscores the importance of personal responsibility and internal transformation in bringing about positive change. It implies that individuals must take proactive steps to reform themselves and align their actions with divine guidance. The verse also emphasizing the inevitability of facing consequences for one's deeds, stressing the significance of accountability in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How to train self-discipline Seeking knowledge The Quran and the Hadith serve as primary sources of guidance for Muslims. By studying and reflecting upon these scriptures, we gain a deeper understanding of what is permissible and impermissible in Islam. This knowledge forms the basis for exercising self-discipline in daily lives. Regular worship Daily acts of worship such as prayer, fasting and recitation of the Quran are essential components of self-discipline practice. Worshipping requires consistency and discipline, instilling a sense of routine and self-control. Fasting Fasting during the month of Ramadan is a significant practice. It teaches self-discipline by abstaining from food, drink and other physical needs from dawn until sunset. Fasting encourages patience, empathy for the less fortunate and self resistance from sinful behavior. Self-reflection Islam emphasizes the importance of self-reflection and self-accountability. We are encouraged to regularly assess our actions, intentions and spiritual state, identifying areas for improvement and repentance. Resisting temptations we resist temptations and desires that lead to sinful behavior. By exercising self-discipline and controlling our desires, we strengthen our character and build resilience against worldly temptations. Moderation We should be moderate in all aspects of life, including food, wealth and entertainment. By avoiding excessive indulgence and materialism, we can cultivate self-discipline and prioritize spiritual growth over worldly desires. Surrounding oneself with righteous company. The company we keep has a profound influence on our behavior and mindset. We are advised to associate with virtuous and pious individuals who inspire us to uphold faith and practice self-discipline. Community support. We are encouraged to seek support from the Muslim community in our journey towards self-discipline. Surrounding ourselves with righteous companions and seeking advice from knowledgeable individuals can provide encouragement and accountability. Seeking forgiveness and repentance. Recognizing one's fault and seeking forgiveness from Allah Azawajal, through sincere repentance, we acknowledge our mistakes and strive to amend our ways, thereby strengthening our relationship with Allah Azawajal. Trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ultimately, Islam teaches us to place our trust in Allah and seek His guidance and support. By relying on faith and seeking Allah's help, we strengthen our resolve to overcome challenges and uphold Islamic values. Patience and Perseverance We are encouraged to persevere through trials and tribulations with patience, demonstrating control over our emotions and reactions. Self-control in speech It's very important to guard one's tongue and speak truthfully, 
kindly and respectfully. Practicing self-discipline in speech involves refraining from backbiting, lying, gossiping or engaging in hurtful speech. Self-discipline in financial matters Islam provides guidelines on wealth management, encouraging believers to spend their wealth judiciously, give in charity and avoid extravagance and greed. Practicing self-discipline in financial matters involves managing one's wealth responsibly and avoiding unlawful means of earning. Healthy lifestyle choices Islam emphasizes the importance of maintaining physical health and well-being. Practicing self-discipline in matters of diet, exercise and sleep fosters a balanced and healthy lifestyle contributing to overall spiritual and physical wellness. Gratitude and contentment we are encouraged to be thankful for Allah's blessings and content we have, avoiding covetousness and envy. Avoiding procrastination Islam warns against procrastination. Practicing self-discipline involves prioritizing tasks, managing time efficiently and avoiding laziness and procrastination. As we conclude today's discussion on self-discipline in Islam, let's remember that our journey towards personal growth and spiritual refinement is ongoing. By embracing self-discipline, we commit ourselves to aligning our actions with the teachings of Allah and His Messenger. Let's take the lessons learned today and apply them in our daily lives, striving to cultivate self-discipline in all our aspects of existence. May our efforts be guided by sincerity, patience and trust in Allah's wisdom. As we continue our Ramadan self-improvement challenge, in tomorrow's part we will talk about how to demonstrate tolerance and calmness in difficult situations, that means cultivating patience. Don't forget to support me by subscribing to my channel, give me a like and write a comment below the video. See you in the next part. Allah Hafiz!